Hello, and welcome to the Stonewood Architectural Field Fabrication video. This video is a product demonstration and should not take the place of the installation instructions for this product. Always consult stonewoodpanels.com for the latest installation instructions before installing any Stonewood products. The processes that will be covered in this video are general cutting, doors and window cutting, drilling for both the exposed fastener and concealed fastener systems, kerfing, rabbiting, and penetrations. Before we begin, here is a list of recommended tools that may be required for fabrication. Always be sure to wear proper personal protection gear and always follow the manufacturer's equipment and tool safety guidelines. Take the panel that needs to be cut off the skid carefully lifting with two people. Bring the panel to your cutting station, placing it on top of a sacrificial panel. To prevent scratching the panel face, leave the clear peel coat on the panel. The first process that we will be covering is general cutting. Make measurements and mark the panel accordingly. Always remember to measure twice and cut once. Set the depth of the saw blade to extend slightly into the sacrificial panel. Align the track of the saw with the measured mark on the panel. Snap the saw onto the track. Turn on the saw and proceed to make your cut. This is what a cut edge will look like. The final step after any cutting process is chamfering the cut edges. To do this, you'll need a hand router and the correct chamfer bit, and use a factory manufactured edge to set the depth of the router. Once set up, chamfer all field cut edges. This is what a chamfer edge will look like. When cutting for doors and windows, it is important to radius any corners. To make a radiused corner, drill a minimum 5 8 inch hole in the desired corner location. Then proceed by making tangent cuts using the track saw. Use a hand router to chamfer the cut edges and upon completion, you will be left with a nice radiused corner. The next process that we will be covering is the exposed fastener system drilling and the concealed fastener system drilling. For the exposed fastening system, Always review the installation guide for fixed point and floating hole sizes and locations. Measure out your drill locations on the face of the panel. There are two different hole sizes. The smaller bit is used for the fixed point and the larger bit for the floating holes. We will start by showing the smaller fixed hole bit. Each panel requires one fixed point located at the center of the panel. The remainder of the hole locations are drilled using the larger floating hole drill bit. For concealed fastener drilling, place the panel face down on proper supports. Begin to mark the hole locations for the system clips. Always review the installation guide for drill bit size, drill depth, and hole locations for the system clips. When drilling for the concealed fastener system, a drill bit and an adjustable drill stop will be used. Set the drill stop to the correct depth. Make a practice drill on an extra panel to make sure the depth is set correctly and that there is no drill through on the face of the panel. Proceed to drill the required holes on the back of the panel. Clear any debris from the holes using compressed air. Finally, check the face of the panel for any possible drill through. We will now discuss some specialized field fabrication scenarios that you may encounter. We will now go through the kerfing process. This process only applies to stonewood stack and vertical siding planks. To begin the kerfing process, set the depth of the kerf from the face of a factory manufactured plank. Once the depth is set correctly, Proceed to make the kerf along the length of the plank. Next, we will be covering the rabbiting of stonewood planks. This process only applies to stonewood vertical siding planks. To begin the rabbiting process, set the depth of the rabbit from the back face of a factory manufactured plank. Proceed to make the rabbit along the width of the plank. 
The final process we will be covering is penetrations. When cutting out penetrations, it is important to measure and mark out the desired size. Once the penetration has been measured and marked out, start by drilling a minimum 5 8 inch hole in the corners of your penetration. Next, slowly work your way around the perimeter of the penetration with a hand router using a plunge router bit. Remove the cutout section and finish by chamfering the routered edges. Once all field fabrication is completed, the protective peel coat is ready to be removed. Make sure to give the part one last inspection and that it is fully prepared for installation. Thank you for watching this field fabrication video. Always remember to consult stonewoodpanels.com for the latest installation instructions and system details before installing any Stonewood products. And call our main line with any questions.